I'd like to say a few words about medical education and the teaching award at Humber River Hospital. The primary mission of any hospital is, of course, to treat sick people. And Humber is in the process of revolutionizing the way in which that's going to be done. With the incredible influence of technology on care processes, the communication between providers and patients, the ability to push results to clinicians, so many aspects of hospital care will change because of what is being developed at our new hospital. So we have both an opportunity and a responsibility to expose the next generation of medical graduates to what is in fact a paradigm shift in hospital care. This will be the new standard by which future hospitals will be designed and built. Uh, practice patterns and patient expectations are changing. So our role then as medical educators, in addition to knowledge transfer, is to prepare this new generation of physicians for successful practices in this exciting new environment. Through our affiliations with the University of Toronto and Queen's University, many learners are asking to spend time with us. And as the academic profile of Humber continues to grow, it's very apparent that we have a lot of staff physicians who are outstanding teachers. Uh, so the Medical Education Committee was looking for a way to provide some recognition for those who give so freely and generously of their time. And this led to the development of the Humber River Hospital Award for Excellence in Medical Teaching. Now there are strict criteria, including nomination by a learner with supporting letters and a review of teaching uh, effectiveness scores which are provided by the universities. Last year at the uh, annual general meeting we kicked off the inaugural presentation of the Humber River Hospital Teaching Award and in fact there were two excellent uh, candidates who were tied in, in almost every respect. So we actually made two awards last year. One was to Dr. Kwok Quinn, who is a general surgeon, and the other is to uh, Dr. Raywin Seberg, who is an otolaryngologist, head and neck surgeon. Uh, both of them were highly deserving, had excellent um, reviews from their learners and from their teaching effectiveness scores. Dr. Um, Quinn is a general surgeon and did a lot of work with both clerks and uh, residents in general surgery, and Dr. Seberg was primarily in the undergraduate realm with um, ear, nose, and throat uh, clerks. Both of them actually had a number of students and residents who said very outstanding things about their teaching experiences. They were in, in many ways, it was a combination of um, information that was being provided, but also an excitement about the actual material that they were, they were seeing and the specialties that they're being introduced to.